the lord be with you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to saint john glory to you o lord at that time jesus said to his disciples truly truly i say to you you will weep and lament but the world will rejoice you will be sorrowful but your sorrow will turn into joy when a woman is giving birth she has sorrow because her hour has come but when she has delivered the baby she no longer remembers the anguish for joy that a human being has been born into the world so also you have sorrow now but i will see you again and you your hearts will rejoice and no one will take your joy from you in that day you will ask nothing of me the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ <clears throat> when a child or an an angster is woken up in the morning it will often say give me a few more minutes after a little while i will get up but the little while can be anything like half an hour or a lady getting ready for a party or a wedding will always tell her husband even if it is late give me a little while i will get ready sometimes people guests come into the house the host will say give me 5 minutes i will get the dinner ready and you know in 5 minutes or even 10 minutes a dinner cannot be made ready these are some of the day to day experiences that we have of the so called little while delays and uncertainties are often part of our lives such delays put tension into our life uncertainties even in the gospel today we have jesus telling that for a little while you will see me and for a little while you will not see me and the disciples naturally do not understand what he is saying jesus is not just talking about the duration of a time in minutes or in hours he is in fact talking about an experience experience that he himself underwent the experience of suffering and dying an experience of weeping and lamenting turning into rejoicing an experience of sorrow turning into joy our lives could be in a state of confusion or crisis troubles and deserts of anxiety but jesus explains to the disciples that i too had this anxiety of waiting but the father responded with the resurrection of jesus after the death of jesus it was a painful and agonizing experience and he says to us i stood firm and patient in trusting the will of the father and jesus in today's gospel gives a very beautiful example of a woman in travail waiting for a child to be born it is an excruciating pain that she has to undergo and tears 
of sorrow or pain rolls down her eyes. But when, the, when she sees the face of the child, everything is forgotten and the sorrow becomes joy. And that is what happens in our lives, Jesus says. When we undergo struggles, frustrations, anxieties, difficulties, failures, they are not permanent. They are for a little while. If only we trust in God's mercy and God's power. When one is able to surrender one's will, one's problems into the hands of God, these are people who enjoy life of fulfillment and rejoicing in their lives. As we celebrate this Mass, let us remember the sacrifice of Jesus on Calvary, giving us a new life, giving us a new hope, new hope of heaven and new hope of our own selves becoming new persons. Let us pray today.